Hi guys, my name is Aiza and I transferred to UC Davis major in managerial economics. My name is Stefano Musa. I am from Arusha, Tanzania in East Africa. My name is Samwen. I am majoring in public health at the University of Washington in Seattle. Hi everyone, my name is Betty. I transferred to the University of Washington. I'm studying psychology and education learning and society. Hello everyone, my name is Bao Tran. I'm an international student from Vietnam. I used to be a peer mentor at Green River for six months and I'm now going to Washington State University majoring in hospitality business management. My name is Jason Yu. I'll go ahead and share not only my story but also maybe some tips or advice that I have along the way for those of you who are taking FFS this quarter. So first, it was hard to make new friends in a brand new environment, especially in a new environment is so much bigger. And people around me who started school at UC Davis as freshmen have had their friend circles already. And I'm sometimes lazy, so I don't attend many club meetings regularly. So it's even harder for me to meet new people. Because of the huge environment, it's just harder for you to get connected with your peers, with your um, advisors, your um, professors. So if you have any problems, you need to be the one who take initiative, come and ask them about what you should do so that they, they know and they will together with you seek for solutions. I think the biggest one is classroom environment. Can you imagine 700 students in my class? It is so crowded and so difficult for me to focus on. But that's why I have to push myself out of comfort zone. I need to, like, when I don't understand the lectures, I went to office hours, my instructor. Um, academically, I don't think university have a higher expectations or requirement comparing to Green River. Um, however, the amount of work that you need to complete within the same period of time can be very overwhelming. So time management is especially important, not just at a university, but also for your future job performance. Try to uh, start the process of applying for schools, make appointments with uh, your advisors, make sure you have all the documents, uh, your recommendations and everything that you need to transfer, to everything, try to do it as early as you can, but also take opportunity, take the advantage of the FFS class and if you can be involved, you're gonna, it's gonna help you when you transfer. I had no idea about resumes and cover letters when I was back at Green River. Even I had a job of peer mentor. At UC Davis, I and I believe at many other four years, all the positions require at least a resume, and many of them requires a cover letter. If you don't know what a resume or a cover letter is, you better start researching for it now, because it will become very handy when you apply for jobs in a professional context. One advice I will give um, to all um, FFS mentee is to start learning time management. You will need to learn how to balance your life, your social life, your classes, your um, internship, your, your work at the same time. To me, Green River was a safe zone for me to learn and practice at a slower pace, whereas a university is a ground zone for me to be adventurous and apply the ability I have learned from Green River. So my suggestion for you guys is go visit the schools before you actually decide to transfer over. Go see the city, talk to the students and staff people there. If you like it, then transfer. I think one of the key things to go to Colombia is that you gotta learn something from the people who are literally on the top of their fields. Um, CS professors, uh, for example, like they are, they are really founders of something. They build code, they build algorithm by themselves, and math professors, they're doing amazing research by themselves, and um, classmates, they're really amazing as well, they're inspiring and intelligent, uh, and I really like this kind of academic settings here. One thing I really like my life right now is the research experience. 
UW has a great research environment. Students also have the opportunity to be a part of the academia even if they are only undergrads. I have I think having an internship and re or research experience is very important at university because it's an opportunity for students to not being af to not be afraid of making a mistake, but also learn in a real professional job environment. I know you can do it, so keep doing good work. Get connected to your community. Do research about a school and I wish you luck for your transferring process and good luck for your endeavors. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.